If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Nikola Tesla You are not a physical being in the physical universe. You are a vibrational being in a vibrational universe. You are both a transmitter and a receiver of energy. One of the greatest challenges of human being is learning how to live as a vibrational being in a vibrational universe. Consider yourself as a vibrational transmitter. You are continually sending out signals that inform the universe who you are in this moment. Those signals will either attract or fend off other vibrational beings, events, and experiences. You naturally attract that which is in harmony with your state of being, and you'll repel that which is out of sync with your state. If your energetic self radiates wealth and abundance, your physical reality will reflect wealth and abundance for your physical being. If your energetic self radiates anger and frustration, your physical reality will reflect that as well. Once you can accept that your vibrational self attracts compatible patterns, it becomes clear that if you want to experience something different in your life, you must somehow change the signals you're putting out. You are so much more powerful than you ever imagined. By understanding how to transmit the vibrations of your ideal life, you can fundamentally change the way you experience the world and become aligned with your ideal life. If you've always wondered if this stuff really works and what is the science behind it, then this video is for you. In this video, you will learn some of the most powerful techniques you can use to raise your vibrations right away. Everything is energy, and that's all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality you want, and you cannot help but get that reality. It can be no other way. This is not philosophy. This is physics. Albert Einstein. Quantum physics state that everything in our universe is energy. When you put your body under a large microscope, you will see that your body is made of cells. And when you further focus, you will see that your cells are made of tissues, molecules, and atoms. And when you zoom further, you will notice that created atoms and molecules are nothing but energy vibrating at a certain frequency. According to the laws of universe, energy is constantly vibrating at a certain speed. This is exactly what law of vibration states as well. Everything is vibrating and nothing is at rest. Everything you see around you is vibrating at a different frequency. For example, your desk may not look solid and still, but within the desk, there are millions and millions of subatomic particles moving and vibrating. These particles are made of energy that is vibrating at a very fast speed that forms atoms, and atoms will then form molecules, and the millions of molecules will form the solid as what we knew as a desk. Our thoughts are energies in vibration too. The law of attraction, which based on the law of vibration, states that we attract what we are sending out to the universe. When we think a certain thought, our brain cells or neurons will vibrate at a certain frequency and this high speed energy will attract whatever you send out through your thoughts. Your mind is the most powerful tool in the universe because you can change and alter the vibration energy through your thoughts and feelings. When you do that, you will attract and bring forth the energy vibration that is in harmony with your thoughts and feelings. Your thought is where it all begins. As your conscious mind dwells habitually on the thoughts of a certain frequency, these become firmly embedded in your subconscious mind. These thoughts will become your dominant vibration, and this dominant vibration sets up a resonance with other similar vibrations that draw them into your life. Perhaps the best scientific way to explain how the law of vibration works is using a tuning fork. A tuning fork can serve as a useful illustration of how a vibrating object can produce sound. When you get two tuning forks with the same frequency and hit one with a rubber hammer, it will vibrate and transmit sound waves into its surrounding, which cause the second tuning fork to vibrate and produce the same sound waves. This is known as resonance. When you think a certain thought, or feel a certain emotion, you are transmitting energy through vibration to your surroundings and other things, people, and experiences that are vibrating in the same frequency will be attracted to you. This is the same as resonance. Albert Einstein once coined the words, spooky action at a distance, in which he said that an object can be moved, changed, 
or otherwise affected without being physically touched by another object. Therefore, whatever energy vibration you send out to the universe, you will attract into your life. You can spend all your time and work hard on your goals, but if you do not change the vibration, you will never achieve your dreams and manifest your goals. This is why we often experience the things are not moving in our way moments. When your energy vibration is not in alignment with your desires in life, things will seem to go against you regardless of what you do. You can put in extra hours to work on your dreams, work harder, find ways, learn better strategy, hire more talented people to your company, get better business partners, etc. But if your vibration did not change, you will eventually suffer the same outcomes. For example, when an entrepreneur fails at a business and then they start another business, they will experience the same failure. When they finally get it, they change their vibration in harmony with their goals and then they will manifest the success they've always wanted. When your vibration is in alignment with the order you are placing with the universe, things will come to you automatically, without much effort. Things will become so smooth that you seem to have the Midas touch and able to turn every business into a successful venture. Let's consider this scientific experiment conducted by a group of Russian scientists. They conducted an experiment where they took away a mother rabbit from her babies and kept her in a submarine dive deep into the sea. The babies were kept in the laboratory thousands of miles away. The mother rabbit was hooked up with sophisticated equipment to measure the brain waves. The scientists then killed one of the baby rabbits and observed that the brain waves of the mother rabbit went haywire at precisely the same time when her baby was killed. It proved although the mother rabbit and the babies were thousands of miles apart, their vibrations were in sync with each other. This is the same principle which is discussed in the law of vibration. You may not fully understand how vibrations work, but there could be a resonance between two distant vibrations. Scientists conduct another study using the basketball players. They were separated into three groups. The first group did nothing. The second group was told to practice shooting, and the third practiced shooting through visualization. After a few weeks, scientists identified the shooting performance of the first group had declined, while the second group of basketball players improved their shooting skills. The third group of players who didn't touch the ball, but practiced through visualization, achieved the same improvement as the second group of players who practiced shooting basketball physically every day. This suggests that, even just using the visualization techniques, you will be able to manifest things into real life. This is why the law of vibration and the law of attraction work. When your vibration is in harmony with what you desire, your desires will automatically come to you. Or, in other words, you will somehow attract what you want in your life. The scientific study on the amygdala, the brain's emotional center, shows that if we are fearful and anxious ourselves, we automatically induce feelings of fear and anxiety in others. This is why your energy is vibrating at a frequency that causes you to feel negative. You will automatically attract negativity into your life. So now that you understand how the law of vibration works, how can you use it to attract the life you've always dreamed of? Remember, everything happens in the inner world first. The outer world is a mere echo or the fruits of what has happened in the inner world. Your mission is to maintain that vibration and unlock the desires from their energetic holding space so they can manifest. You need to learn how to close the gap between your intention and the manifestation. Abraham Hicks once said, the greater part of us is non-physical. This may sound a little confusing, but your goal is to align your vibration with the vibration of the things that you want in your life. When your vibration is in alignment with the things that you want, the universe will deliver it to you. You will feel like you are so lucky and things just come to you without much effort. So how can you do that? Well, to put it in a simple term, you just need to make sure your thoughts and feelings are in harmony with what you want. You need to act as if the things that you want have already been manifested and you are living them right now. Most people understand their thoughts, but they often forget that their feelings play an important role in the manifestation process too. You need to feel as if your desire has already been manifested. This will close the gap between your inner world and your outer world. There are five steps you can use to raise your vibration and use the law of vibration to manifest what you want in life. Number one, establish your intentions right. The first step to manifesting your desires using the law of vibration is to set your intention right. Most people have no idea what they want, let alone manifesting it. So they are too vague with their intentions. They may want to own a successful business in one moment, 
then next they feel doubtful and prefer to continue to work in their existing career. This sends confusing messages to the universe and your vibrations will not be in alignment with what you want. Another thing is that most people are too vague with their desires. They want to be rich, but they have no idea how much exactly they want. When they get a raise of $100, they are $100 richer, but they feel that that is not enough and associate with a negative feeling. Therefore, set your intention right. Make sure you understand what you desire and what you want to achieve in your life. It is only when you know what you want, you can send the right and consistent message to the universe and the universe will generate what you desire into your life. Number two, use visualization to raise your vibrations. The second step is to raise your vibration through visualization. You may already know that in order to manifest your dreams, you need to focus on aligning your vibration with the things that you desire. And visualization is one of the most powerful tools that can help you in this. When you visualize what you want, your mind cannot differentiate between what is real and what is being visualized. This is why when you visualize squeezing lemon juice into your mouth, you will have more saliva in your mouth. Your mind makes what you visualize real. Thus, practice visualizing the things that you want to be, do, and have in your life. See yourself as you are already there, achieving and living your dreams. You must see it vivid so your mind will make it real and raise your vibration to match for the things that you want. The key is to focus on maintaining the vibration to be in harmony with your dreams and the manifestation process will happen. Number three, increase your vibration through emotions. The third step is to raise your vibration through your emotions. And this is where most people get it wrong about the law of vibration and the law of attraction. The majority thought that all they need to do is think about what they desire and the manifestation process will happen. This is only a half truth. You need to raise your vibration to a higher level through your emotions too. You cannot just dream about what you want and hope for things to happen. You need to feel it with your emotions. For example, do not just visualize what you want. You must associate your emotions and feelings into the process. Feel as if you are already successful. Feel as if you have achieved your goals and are living your dreams. Your emotion is one of the most powerful devices that can intensify your vibration and help you manifest what you want in life. Without emotions, nothing moves. Number four, believe in the process. The fourth step is to trust and believe in the process. Most people do not understand this step because they simply do not believe in it. When you truly believe in something, you will never ever question it and you will certainly do it. Yes, you will certainly do something about it when you believe in something. For example, if you truly believe that you're going to win the lottery, do you think you will hesitate to buy a lottery ticket? No, you will not. And if you believe, without a shadow of a doubt, that your business is going to succeed, do you think you will work on it? Yes, you will too. Most people do not believe that they can achieve their dreams and manifest what they want, and that's why they don't take action. All they do is to think of what they desire, but deep within their hearts, they do not actually believe that it is possible for them. Never let this happen to you. Choose to trust the process and believe in it. More importantly, when you truly believe in it, you will act on it. Number five, relax and ready to receive. Finally, you need to let go and be willing to receive. Do not be over obsessed with the things that you want. When you become so obsessed, you will feel stressed the moment you did not receive the outcomes you want. Most people are so obsessed with the result that it has created the opposite effect and caused the manifestation process to fail. Consider it as a growing tree. All you do is to make sure you supply suitable soil and expose the plant to sunlight and water it regularly. Can you rush the process by watering the plant for 24 hours? No, you cannot you will certainly kill the plant if you do so. The same goes for your intent to attract and manifest in your life. You cannot rush the process. Do what you are supposed to do and then let go and let the universe deliver it to you. Now you know how to use the law of vibration the correct way. If you want more valuable videos like this, please like and subscribe and share the video with the people you care about. Thanks for watching.